Don't you love when Islamic da'wah team officially becomes apostate? Don't you just love when Islamic da'wah team goes against Allah, goes against Muhammad and goes against Islam? I love how they think they are much capable than Allah and Muhammad to explain and express their problems with the previous books. The moment any of the Muslim, sheikhs, ustais, dawah gangs, non-expert dawah gangs, polemists, whatever you call them, lay Muslims, the moment they expressed they have a problem with your scripture, with Christian scripture, just keep in your mind, they are apostate. Allah, with all of his wisdom, is fall in love with Christian scripture. Muhammad is fall in love with Christian scripture. Yet in Samha, Muslims think they have better standards than Allah and Muhammad. Therefore, they can express they have a problem with Christian scripture. I love the way how they simply look into the camera and then express that problem by intentionally deceiving people. There is a short video up there, apparently. <laughs> Islamic Dawah Gangs, not sorry, not Islamic Dawah Gangs, apostate Islamic Dawah team criticize the God of Bible. Hmm. It is strange. The reasons they criticize it. We all know Allah is not the God of Bible. We all know Allah is like Pretty, pretty weird God with lots of lots of issues but clearly Allah is not God of the Bible main reason is because Allah is not triune God Allah doesn't have a son son of Allah which he didn't even have did nothing for humanity but Muslims focus on character of God and God's love towards humanity let's hear this short clip I am I'm so sorry, it's going to be painful short time, but let's hear and then see how without any shame, Dawah Gangs, sorry, not Dawah Gangs, apostate Dawah Gangs simply butchers and misrepresent Christian scripture. Let's hear this and please take a paracetamol, whatever you need for this pain. The biblical God is loving unconditionally when he wants to dash the babies against rocks. How is the biblical God loving? How is the biblical God is loving when he wants to dash the babies against the rocks? And then there is a verse on the screen which um, apostate Dawah Gangs put it up from Psalm 137 verse 9. Hmm. How God can be loving when he wants to dash the babies against rocks? You know what is the problem in here? The problem is during the lockdown it seems everyone just simply shut down their heatings and they haven't been eating anything, their brain is frozen and they can't think and they can't read. But they are much capable to put the verse on the screen. That shows actually. They are able to identify and recognize the verses. They are already much better than Muhammad because Muhammad couldn't even read and write. But that's not the issue. So issue is, if you bothered if you bothered and simply go to Psalm 137 verse 9, okay? It is only, literally, it is only nine verse. Takes less than 30 seconds to read it. And then if you've got brain, you would know the context, the moment when you read it. If you don't have any time, okay? You can just read it from verse 7. Even that will give you the context. The moment when you read it, you will know, oh, actually, 
That's not God wants to do it. That's the psalmist praying for it. Why? Because Babylons were doing that. Babylons were uh, dashing the babies against rocks. And psalmist it simply wants to repay back. As I said, you don't need to be Einstein. All you needed to do is, if you didn't have 30 seconds, oh well, clearly, clearly you had more than 30 seconds to just like brush your hair and then make you look nice. You should have that 30 second to treat the previous books respectfully. If you read it just only like two words before that, you will just get the context and then see it is not God is going to do that or God wants to do that. It is person is praying Babylons to repay because that's what Babylons were doing towards Israel. And it is not something we are kind of just um, what it is. It is not something we are kind of uh, surprised to see because as the psalmist is asking God to repay uh, repay um, evil for evil, we get to see in the scripture when uh, if you if you if you read it uh, two kings. 8 to 9 to 13, if you look at the Hosea Khan chapter 10, and even when you read Isaiah 13, we see that was historically recorded as an event, and even in Nahum 3, when people come and conquer you, when people come and conquer you, they would dash the head of your ba- dash the head of the babies towards rocks. And it goes a little bit farther if Islamic apostate Islamic Dawagangs bother to read Isaiah chapter 13 verse 15 to 22, you would see actually that's what Babylons were doing. Let me see actually if I have the scripture here. Let me see. Yes, I have the scripture here. Let me put it on the screen. Since Islamic Dawatim doesn't even bother to check it. This is Isaiah chapter 13 verse 15 15 to 22 is telling us telling us this is what Babylons were doing Israelites and psalmist is praying eye for eye tooth for teeth and that's not a, something strange to me because that is one of the Old Testament laws and that is not something strange to your Islamic Dawah gangs because Quran confirms the same. Quran confirms the same. Why do you have a problem with that? I'll tell you why. Because you never bother to read it. You, you went to check Google and you never even bother to read who is speaking, what is happening. It's not only that. It's not only you are being very intentional deceiving I'm like at this stage I'm thinking oh well you are candidate against Allah Allah is the best of of deceivers after Allah you've got Muhammad but you already passed on Muhammad now you are over Muhammad Allah versus Islamic Dawah gangs let me remind you let me remind you your Islamic book this book called Quran is fall in love not with only Bible what but also with Psalms with Zabur isn't this the Word of God isn't it reliable and not only that Zabur is also giving light Surah 35 verse 25 who do you think you are critiquing Zabur are you better than Allah it is very clear you can identify the verses therefore you are already better than your prophet but are you better than that Allah as well it's not only you are better than Allah by critiquing it the book Allah give it to the people but also you are better than having Allah 
for having better moral standards. These events are not strange to the Quran. These events are not strange to the Allah. Quran talks about eye for eye, tooth for tooth. It's not only that. But what was that story where story of Muhammad's uncle? Surah 111. Muhammad's uncle and his wife. What happened to them? What happened to them? Allah expressed his love and kindness towards them. That's amazing. I just think like that's just amazing. The way Allah expresses his love and his care and his concern for them. By doing what? By doing what? May the hands of Abu Ahab be ruined. And ruined is he. His wealth will not avail him or what that which he gained. He will burn in fire of flame and his wife as well. Carrier of fire wood. Around her neck is a rope of fiber. Hmm. I think it is delicious. It is loving. It is glorious and gorgeous. All that like funny words. How Allah expressed love. Not only that, Allah expressed love. But also we see uh, again and again in the Quran, like Surah 9 verse 30. Allah is asking, may Allah destroy them wherever they are exist towards people of book. Dear Dawa Gangs, I'm saying this like seriously. I know that you've got to make money. I know that you've got identity to keep. You've got fame to catch up. But remember, on the day of judgment, when you try to hunt down the sheen of Allah to recognize, it's not going to help you. Don't go against Allah. Don't go against Quran. Don't go against Muhammad. Oh, well, Allah might put you in the same category with Muhammad's uncle, Abu Lahab. And neck, ropes on your neck and hellfire. Loving, merciful, loving and merciful of Allah. Of course, I'm not even touching the hadith. How even hadith discredits what you are saying. I think bottom line is this. The moment you think it becomes your business to become apostate Islamic Dawah gangs, and as you do that for business to critic my scripture and critic my God, remember, all I can tell you, Allah is shamed of you. And even, even, even your prophet, your lovely prophet knows you are shamed of him. Pull yourself together. Do you come with better argument? Happy to have discussions, but with the thought, uh, with um, arguments th uh, which you thought through, as well as the passages you read in the context. It is not God who is speaking. It is not God who wants to do it. It is psalmist is asking God. It is psalmist prayer. But of course, you never even bother to read it. Welcome to the world of apostate Islamic Dawah teams. Remember, I am Christian and I don't practice the law of apostasy. Make sure you don't come across with lovely Muslims who wants to practice the law of apostasy when you go against the word of God.